I'm gonna be honest with you folks. I've tried just about every diet out there I really have. You know, I've always struggled with the weight. I've been trying to just keep it down, stay trim. But I've realized that I'm never going to uh, keep weight off long term without changing my approach to eating. That's the, you are what you eat. I don't let anybody for you can work out all day long, all night long. If you don't eat properly, you are just beating a dead horse. So I bought in my friend and Food Network star, Judson Allen. <laughs> What's up, Jesse? How's it going? How you feeling? I'm doing well. Now, folks, since I've been on daytime TV, Justin has helped me drop 10 pounds in three weeks, and it's without exercising. <laughs> and he's done it without dieting, which was critical for me. So, Justin, how you doing? How Good you to doing? have you here. Thanks, for Thank you for what you're doing. Uh, you've got such an inspiring story. Tell everybody about yourself. Sure, sure. I lost over 135 pounds in a six-year period. And thank you. And at my highest weight, I was 350 pounds. 350. I, 350. 350. I was a big boy. It got so bad that my mother had to put a lock on the refrigerator to keep me from overeating. I was addicted. Uh, yeah, I was bad. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm just laughing because I know him. I haven't heard that before. Yeah. That's a 15-minute comedy routine. <laughs> the lock on the door. Um, how did losing weight change you as a chef? Because I guess you gained the weight because you were eating so much. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it, it gave me a mission. It gave me a purpose. And as the architect of flavor, it allowed me to use these flavors to transform the way I thought and felt about what healthy food really was. You know, dispelling the myth that healthy food has to be lifeless and bland, you know? So I empowered it with bold powerhouse flavors. Well, folks, see, Justin's approach isn't about extreme dieting. It's about losing weight the healthy way. So let's check out his five commandments of weight loss. The first commandment is getting to the root of the issue and committing to the change. Okay, second commandment. The second commandment is you want to get innovative and creative with foods. You want to really kind of cheat on your favorite foods. And that's what I like to do, working with things like pecans. Uh, instead of deep frying fish, you can use nuts as a substitution. It gives you that crunchiness, that nice effect you're looking for. Because, like, this right here. That right there. Now, I recognize this because <laughs> this is what I had for lunch today. That's right. This is what I have for lunch. And that's a Cajun pecan encrusted catfish. It's not deep fried, but you put those pecans over it, put it under the broiler. And then you get the crunchy flavor. Exactly. But you get to have something that's healthy for you. Something that's as healthy. As opposed to frying, so that's good. What's number three? So number three is all about portion control. So as we talk about things, we want to load up on the vegetables, we want to load up on the fruits, and then play around with the protein and the carbohydrates. So I'm going to give you this tip, you all. When you're in the restaurant, Ask your waiter, say, hey, can I get a half portion of the food or a lunch portion? That way you're not overeating. Because back in the day when I was in front of the food, I used to go at it. I ate everything on the plate. Well, you know, look, <laughs> people, you eat the food because your mother raised you yep. with that whole thing. Clean your plate. Clean your plate. Then it's kids in Africa starving. <laughs> I messed up one day. I said, well, why don't we send it over there to him? <laughs> All right, next commandment. The next commandment is you want to save time. You want to be mindful of your time when you're dealing with foods. So we got an example here using the crock pot. I know that a lot of us are busy. We lead these busy mm -hmm. lifestyles. If we throw the food in here, when we come home, it's already done for us. Like in here, we've got some gumbo. Yeah, it's one of my little things. You know, my people are from New Orleans. And the cool thing about a crock pot is that flavor enhances as you let it sit. It's some good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Now... And, and, and let me tell you this, Steve. The cool thing about this is, you know, traditionally in a gumbo, you use a roux with butter and flour. You don't need that. Use olive oil and use a little bit of whole wheat flour. Give me the last commandment of weight loss. <laughs> the, <laughs> the last commandment of weight loss is easy. Exercise. I know back in the day, I used to run from it. I didn't want to do it. But get it any way you can. For me, it was bike riding. It was playing tennis. It was taking the stairs instead of using the escalator or using the elevator. You walk up 25 flights of stairs and you walk into your job. <laughs> A lot of people ain't going to like you. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, 
We got all of this stuff on steveharveytv.com. Justin's got more tips because we'll have more time on the website.